Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a simple fisheye effect in Spark AR for your Instagram filters. I have created a very simple patch you can use for free to create an effect like this. So yeah, let's start. Hey again, so let's create this simple fisheye filter here in the Spark AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in the Spark AR Studio, we have to download a batch asset which I have created for you which you can use for free so just go to the description of this video click on the download link and then you will end up here on this Dropbox site here just click on download after the download is finished you will find a zip folder in your downloads folder just unzip it and then you will get the tot arp file we need for this video to import this this file just drag and drop it into your assets panel or just go to your assets panel click on the plus then go to import from computer and here just select the simple fisheye.arp file and then click on open. So now um, the filter is almost done because it's very simple I made the patch very simple to use and I will do an advanced version later on but I think um, I start with the simple version of it. So yeah, just go to your best, um, assets panel and then here, will, here you will find the simple fisheye patch. Just drag and drop it into your patch editor. So then you will have this orange patch. The next thing is that we need the camera texture and yeah, a material. As you can see here, there's a camera texture input and a texture output at the, yeah orange patch so for the camera texture we go to our scene click on the camera go to the right hand side click on the little plus next to texture extraction and then we have successfully extracted our camera texture so we can find it here in our assets panel under camera texture now we just drag and drop this um, texture into the patch editor and we will find this patch here now we can just connect the rgba output of the camera texture patch with the camera texture input of the simple fisheye patch. So the next step is that we create a new material. For this we go to our assets panel, click on the plus, here we se select material, then we select the material again, go to the right hand side and here we set the shader type to flat. Now we go down to diffuse and next to texture we can find a little arrow. When we click on it we will find a yellow material patch here in our patch editor. And now we just have to connect the texture output with the diffuse texture input of our material patch. So one last step and because yeah, we can't see here anything um, we have to create a rectangle object um, yeah, to attach the material to. So for this we go to our scene panel, click on the plus and here we search for rectangle. So now we insert this rectangle, rectangle select it, go to the right hand side and here we set the width to fill width and the height also to fill height. So now we go down to materials, click on the plus and now we just select our material and now we can see that we have successfully created the simple fisheye effect now when we go back to our patch editor we see this strength slider here and so we can adjust the strength of this filter as you can see when i move the slider up the effect gets yeah a lot stronger and when it slides down to towards zero it is more subtle so yeah just play around and find the sweet spot for your filter i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes it would be nice when you give a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so see you in the next video bye